Hello, Collective. It's G here with Golden Thread Tower. How are you doing? I'm here to bring you another collective message today. So, y'all, oh my gosh, let me tell you this, okay? I had a dream, okay? I had a dream that I was in a classroom. And that I was in a classroom, but I was wearing lingerie in a classroom. And I, yeah. <laughs> and I just, from this dream that I had, okay? And I had this dream, like, yesterday or the day before yesterday, something like that. Um, Probably a few days um, from the time. So it's probably been almost three or four days from the time that this will actually be uploaded. But from the time I filmed this, I had this, this yesterday, I think it was, this dream yesterday. And I was just like, I got the message that there is a collective out there. There's somebody. I'm hearing divine masculine, but I'm not going to be 100% like, you know, but it's a masculine energy, I feel like. I thought like there was a masculine energy, you guys, that got involved with some kind of student. I am not trying to say that this divine masculine energy, first off, was dating anybody. I'm not trying to say that any underage issues happened here. I, this person feels like they could be in college. Um, that could be a college level. This person, this masculine energy could be a, a professor in college. Um, at the very least, this person could be in high school, but if they are in high school, this person is like 17 or 18 and, um, whatever state I'm, I'm just hearing, like there wasn't any kind of illegal something that happened here. It's just morally, it's just morally. It shouldn't have happened is what I'm hearing. Okay. Yes. Somebody came forward. And presented some kind of love offer to somebody that they shouldn't have. Just morally, they shouldn't have done this. Um, this masculine energy could be married. Or, you know, just professionally. It was unprofessional for them to get involved with a student of theirs. So, what, what do you want to tell me? Yeah. They were chasing after some kind of happiness. Or this is about to be illuminated. This is about to come out. That this happens. Or that this masculine energy did this. Um, yeah. What else do you want to tell me? What do you want to tell me about this situation, Spirit? Okay, um, 10 of wands in reverse. This person is trying to let go of some kind of burdens. There's somebody here that feels guilty or feels anxious about the, they know this information and they want to come forward about it, I feel like. Yeah, so somebody is trying to relieve themselves of some kind of burden or this person was trying to relieve themselves of some kind of burden and that's why they got involved with this person, with this younger person. Because I definitely feel like there's a big age difference, yeah. But cher uh, cherry in reverse. Something is being held back. Them dropping these burdens is being held back because some kind of balance is coming to this situation. This person could be trying to move or leave the situation, but they're not being allowed to. Yeah, five of cups. Somebody is really lost, lost alone in like some kind of, maybe, perhaps maybe some kind of um, depression or they're just feeling really down. They're just feeling like, Okay, this person could be trapped in some kind of loveless marriage and they got tempted by by somebody. I heard I heard somebody say it was just a crush. It was just a crush. But it was like to me it was more than a crush, okay? Because Yeah. This is coming out. I'm telling you, this situation is about to be illuminated. This person thought that this that this would bring them happiness. That it would bring them some kind of balance to the situation. Patience. Something about patience and in time. Okay. King of Wands. Okay, exactly. Somebody was chasing after their passion. Somebody somebody didn't want somebody was worried about that wand, first off. There was a masculine energy here that was worried about that wand. A hundred percent. Okay. Three of Pentacles, they wanted to work together with somebody to try to bring some kind of relief to their situation. I feel like this person could have been trapped in some kind of sexless marriage. And they wanted some kind of relief from this situation. They felt really tempted. They got tempted by somebody, somebody that was much younger than them. For some of y'all, it could be the other way around. This masculine energy could be the student. They could be the younger person and they were tempted by somebody who was much older or they tempted somebody that was much older. Mm. Nine of wands though. This person is being taught some kind of lesson. They're trying to walk away from this energy or they're trying to get away from this. 
I'm hearing somebody say, I'm trying to make this right. I'm trying to learn from this situation and make this right. This was some kind of karmic situation that this person got trapped in. Yeah. This person is trying to learn from the situation, get away and start a new cycle here with this word card. They could literally be trying to get like actually move away, but they're being trapped. But the chair, but the chariot card is in reverse here. They're not being able to leave. They're not being able to actually physically leave the situation. Somebody could be at, being asked to leave their school or leave their, you know, to leave this job. There definitely could be three, uh, three parties involved here. And involved in the situation. Yeah, what did I tell you? Somebody's coming forward with this page with this page of swords here. Somebody's coming forward with the, with information and bringing this to light with this moon card in reverse here. The shadows are being lifted off of this situation. Somebody's coming forward. Also, I just heard blackmail. So somebody could be trying to blackmail somebody. Ten cups. Somebody wants some kind of wish fulfillment out of this situation. Somebody is, maybe somebody, it could be that somebody is trying to work on their marriage or trying to bring back some kind of happiness into them, into the into their life. Now, did this situation happen? This could be a couple trying to recover from some kind of, for some kind of adultery or some kind of affair that this, that this masculine energy had. Yeah. Somebody getting blocked though. Yeah. Somebody's opportunities are getting blocked. It's like in the past, this communication has not has not come forward or an opportunity for this to happen. Queen of Swords in reverse though. There's somebody that knows about this. Somebody that knows about this that wants to hurt this person. They wants to hurt this masculine energy that did this. I'm hearing revenge. Somebody wants revenge on this masculine energy. So they're coming forward to get some kind of revenge. Okay, so I'm hearing Notes on a Scandal. Do you guys remember that Notes on a Scandal movie? If you guys know the plot to that movie. Yeah. So this is somebody. Somebody that wants to come forward and wants to hurt this person. It could be blackmailing this person to come in. Um, somebody is blackmailing somebody to stay in some kind of situation. Four of Cups. For this Four of Cups here, I'm getting more like the imagery on this card, but there's like, I'm getting like these Three of Cups that are sitting here are, are, is like society at large. And this person is trying to find balance inside of themselves, but it's like this cup is being brought forward. I kept seeing that Knight of Cups. This person's really worried. They're really insecure. They're feeling a lot of anxiety about this, about the situation, about the situation coming to light. Their intuition is trying to tell them that the truth is going to come out. But they're afraid they're going to get misjudged in this situation. Maybe perhaps they're, they're like afraid to go to jail in this situation. They're afraid to lose their job or something. Somebody has some kind of evidence. So there's a queen of swords here, though. That could could be, oh, it could be the wife. It could be the wife in this situation. Four of wands. They wants to bring an end. They want to bring an end to this situation. So they're like, bring it into this situation. End it now. End it now with this person. Or this person could be like, or I'll tell your wife. Yeah. Somebody's done something here that's making this situation worse, though. Look, there's that Knight of Cups. It's like somebody refuses. <gasps> yeah, King of Swords. Somebody refuses to come forward and tell the truth. There could be up to two. There could be two or three people with that, with that Three of Cups there. There could be three people that know the truth of this situation. It's like this person, and it's like this person keeps making promises to not go back to this person, but they keep on doing it. Or 
they have promised, oh no, I won't do that anymore. I won't do that situation anymore. I promise I won't do, I won't be involved in the situation or I promise I won't cheat anymore, but they keep on doing it or they keep on going back and falling for this person. What is this, um, not, what is this Knight of Cups, Five of Pentacles situation here, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah. Queen of Cups and the Star in Reverse. They keep on bringing love to the situation. They keep on giving love and keep, in, keep on giving affection. Keep on giving chances to this person. And this person, whoever it is, this person they're getting all this love and affection and, and, and is from, is like stopping them from receiving some kind of enlightenment or stopping them from, from healing. Stopping the truth from coming out here. So it's like they're being blackmailed by both, by, by both people. It's like this, whoever this, uh, this student or whatever this is, right? So there's a student here, you know, and it's like maybe, um, maybe this person felt so much guilt. They went forward. Maybe somebody came and told this masculine energy here. Hey, I know that you're having an affair with this student. You need to cut it out. This masculine energy went to the student and was like, I can't do this anymore. And the student was like. And the student was like, if you don't keep up this relationship with me, I'm going to go tell your wife or I'm going to tell the board or I'm going to tell the school board or whatever. I'm going to tell people that this happened between the two of us and you'll lose your job. So it's like this person has to keep giving to this to this energy. This energy could want them to maybe like leave their wife or in this situation in whatever kind of marriage that they're in right here. And even though they, they feel unhappy in this marriage, I feel like they fight a lot in, with the person that they're married to. They still don't want to end this situation. Why don't they want to end their marriage? Eight of Pentacles, they want to work on it. They could be they could uh, work with this person. They're, they're um, yeah. <laughs> this person could be their boss. Their wife could be their boss. Could be like their headmistress or something like that. Or like, um, hmm. Their wife could, yeah. I'm really feeling like their wife could work on them or could work in the same field, could do something. Their wife could make more money than they do. And they know if they leave that they're, this, this, uh, this Queen of Pentacles could be supporting them financially. And even though she's supporting them financially, like they're still in a really, yeah, look at that, exactly, King of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely. So if he walks away from this wife character, this wife or whatever, he's going to lose a lot of money. If the truth comes out, yeah. He wants to keep things on good terms. He doesn't with that uh, Princess of Wands. Somebody's getting some kind of news. What's this news here? What's this good news? Somebody's got some kind of good news. I don't think that's going to be good news to everybody, though. Three of Wands. Okay. One more time. Yeah, so... Somebody is not seeing something come in. They're not seeing some kind of results come in. And that's some kind of and that's good news in some kind of way. How is that good news, Spirit? Oh! Somebody could have said they were pregnant. Four of Pentacles. Somebody was hanging on to something. Didn't want to let go of something from the past. But I see that Eight of Swords on the back of the deck here, though. Somebody feels mentally free now, though, because of something that they found out, some choice that they need to make. This person is being presented with a choice. Can we get into the meat of this situation here, Spirit? Somebody is being, being encouraged to walk away. From some situation, what situation they need to be walking away from? Ooh. Ugh, 
Okay, so yeah. So with this, with this King of Cups here, somebody's being really in with this um, King of Cups in reverse here, and some kind of magician card. This person is being is trying to manipulate this situation for the best of themselves involved here, right? So they're trying to make sure. Um, they could have really finally told this this person on the side, you know, you were just, you know, it was just about sex with you. It wasn't about anything. My wife is like my wife, you know, or they're, they're the person that actually like, you know, supports me. They're the person that I have this longevity with. They're the person that I want to be with. They're the person I have my abundance with. I want to make this work. Um, somebody, uh, this person on the side could have told this person that they were pregnant. And then they got some kind, and then uh, yeah, the results came back that either this person wasn't the father or this person wasn't pregnant. And so they could have been holding that over their head for a while. So they finally were just like, no, I don't have love in this situation here. I want to leave this situation. I'm letting go. This other person was trying to hold on to them, but they're like, no, I'm leaving this situation. And now it's like they want to come forward and bring like this. They're like, oh, I'm so sorry that that happened to you. I'm so sorry, but I need to cut, I need to cut this situation off. This person has more people on the side of them leaving leaving this situation with the student than they have being being in this relationship and being in this marriage even though they don't want to really be in this marriage both people in this in this in this marriage in this relationship are manipulative they're manipulating each other through their words through their actions and it could just be them being like, yeah, I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Yeah, I want to make this work. Yeah, I want to make this work too. But they won't, They both really don't want to make that work. They don't. They both don't really want to be in this relationship, but they're going to stay in it. Years and Years Foundation is about to come on. Again, hmm. or actually, sorry, Joe Hurt, stay lost. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want you for the night. I want this love to. I want this love to share. Hmm. Yeah, this person feels a lot of anxiety and a lot of pressure. Because I feel like the whole time, I feel like this person doesn't want the person that they're married to and they don't want this person that they were having, this, this student they were having an affair with either. It was just strictly about, about passion, about, you know, about getting what they needed out of both of these people. This masculine energy is trying to manipulate both of these people and get and just get what they need out of these people. So they, they don't... Yeah, they're wearing a mask. They're lying. They're wearing a mask. They're being like a false leader. They're using like their power that they have their position over this other person. Yeah, this is just about to get this person caught up. I feel like the truth is about to come. Yeah, this person is hanging themselves as like coming out of some kind of stagnant situation though. Something's growing. Maybe this person is pregnant. So I just heard that um, that this masculine energy might have convinced the student person or this younger person to like get rid of to get rid of the baby. Damn. I don't think I think this person lied to this person though. Ooh, I think they lied to this person and was like, okay, well I need money to do you know to do the procedure. And then they took the money. And I don't think they did it because Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Some kind of long-term situation this person has been, has been working on is coming down. I feel like some kind of tower moment is about to happen where all this shit is about to come to light, bro. Queen of Wands. Some kind of Queen of Wands. Uh, who's this Queen of Wands? Now there's a Queen of Wands involved here. There's so many people involved here. This masculine energy was involved with so many people. A princess of princess of pinnacles in reverse. I'm hearing workaholic. 
This could be another person that this person that this person works with. Or that another person this person is interested in. Oh my gosh. What about this Queen of Wands? This person is emotionally stuck. They can't walk away. Oh, this Queen of Wands, this Queen of Wands could be um could be this student. Actually, sorry. This Queen of Wands, yeah, right? Because this Queen of Wands matches this King of Wands, matches the passion that this person had. This person is like, no, I'm not walking away. I'm not giving up. It's like this person wants some kind of revenge. This Queen of Wands could be somebody that wants revenge. Yeah. They want to bring some kind of balance. They're just like, this person is like, um, I'm hearing unbalanced. This person could be unbalanced in some kind of way. Ace of Wands in reverse. This whole oh, Ace of Pinnacle. Ace of Pinnacles in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. This Queen of Pin who this Queen of Wands, whoever they are, exactly. They're doing some kind of sneaky behavior to make sure that this King of Pinnacles, this person that they were having this affair with or whatever, does not get a new beginning. They're going to do whatever it takes. Because they're like, I'm not emotionally done with you. I'm not walking away with this. I'm not letting go of this. They're, they're going to be involved in some kind of sneaky behavior. They're going to try to take some, some kind of exact, some kind of ten, of ten of Pentacles out of this King of Pentacles, right? And they're going to try to turn them into this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Stuck, lost, and downgrade him. Oh, they're trying to bring it in. This Queen of Wands is trying to bring it into this person's relationships, this person's marriage. 100%. The weekend gone. Oh wow. Yeah, this person is gone for real though. Um this this is about this song is about um is about being gone off drugs. So this person could be on some kind of drugs. Some kind of imbalance. This person is having some kind of emotional imbalance because of all this shit that they've gone through. Yeah. Exactly. They're just like, I can't believe I can't believe this person. I can't believe you don't love me. I can't believe you don't want to be with me. I can't believe you wanted to for me to kill our baby. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. oh my God. I just got such a creepy. Yes. I just got such a creepy vision. Ooh. I had a vision of like this King of Pentacles, like coming home to their house. They like come home to their house and they like turn on their light in their bedroom and like this queen of wands is like sitting in their bedroom at their house and they're like what the fuck are you doing here like oh my god like they're just sitting in the dark like waiting for them and they show up and they're like what the fuck are you doing here you gotta get the fuck out of here like like you know and then they see this person is like maybe like actually like still with child and they're like what the fuck is this like and this person is just like, I'm not done with you. I just hear somebody going, oh, John, John, I'm not done with you. John, John, you can't just get rid of me. You can't just get rid of me like that. Oh, this feels, oh, this feels creepy. This feels like some kind of like one of those weird lifetime like obsession movies or wherever with like the married man like cheats or like has somebody like, you know, on the side and that person like literally like goes insane or something like that. Yeah. This person is trying to come forward and bring out, this person is trying to bring some kind of balance to the situation and they feel like how they bring balance to the situation is bringing forward some kind of message. This person, this person on the side, this queen of wands could be trying to contact this queen of pentacles. They could do it through their job. I'm really being, being like, uh, the, uh, I'm really being drawn right here to the eight of pentacles. Oh, Yeah. This person is, they're going to do whatever it takes. This five this five of swords right here in the reverse is giving me, I will do whatever it takes, even to a destructive amount. I don't care what happens. I'm going to find victory in the situation. And victory in the situation is getting revenge on this king of pentacles here. Oh my God. Yeah. Five of wands. I'm bringing destruction. I'm bringing a fight. I'm fighting. It gets a fight. You're not, you're not walking away from this situation. You're not letting down your burdens. Yeah. This is going to be a surprise to this King of Pentacles. This person is not going to see this coming at all. Seven of Wands. This person is just going to pop back up out of nowhere. 
this could have happened years ago and this person could pop back up out of nowhere like this person like with a baby already and and it's like this this is your child and you need to take care of them this person could show up at the wife's job and and you know just be like have some you know this uh this wife could like take clients or something like that and this person could like book like some kind of appointment with this wife character with this queen of pentacles and then like you know they're just like you know you know who you know who this child is this is your husband's child with me yeah this is coming out this is coming out man oh my god and it's this person's wish fulfillment this person's greatest satisfaction that they would get is ending this 10 of cups situation for the for this masculine energy here because they feel like this masculine energy lied to them and abused them and used them wow Oh, yeah. This person is using some kind of manipulation to come forward. I'm hearing seductress. So, like, this um, this young person here could have used some kind of... Oh. They could have been trying to use some kind of, like, seduction magic or something like that to trap this king of pentacles. Yeah. Right? Like, I'll do whatever it takes. They're trying to manipulate the outcome of this situation like really hard. Holy crap. What else do you want to talk about in this situation? Spirit. Somebody's trying to free themselves. Eight of Swords. Who is this person that's trying to free themselves? A masculine. The emperor. There's an emperor here that's trying to free themselves from all of this. And that's the truth. But the truth's got to come out first. Oh, wow. There's a masculine energy here that's really trying to, like, some truth about some Ten of Cups situation has come out. And there's a masculine energy. Yeah. The Ten of Cups has been reduced to a Five of Cups. And this masculine's been really hurt. They've been trying to dip and die and, hot and hide the truth from their empress. Yeah. Oh. Wow. I'm hearing somebody say, I just flirted with them. All I did was flirt with them and then things got out of hand. I tried to walk away from the situation. But, like, she got obsessed. This person was, like, obsessed with me. Was trying to use me and abuse me. I'm only 21, so I do it when I want to. Like, uh, this person was really young. Whoever this masculine energy got involved with, this person was really young. Yeah. And now this sneaky energy that was happening is coming out. coming out to a queen of cups the truth is coming out to a queen of cups here excuse me you're not supposed to sit here and, and lick yourself yeah oh look at this this queen of this uh king of wands energy that this person was in that this person was doing this person worried about that wand got them trapped in a negative ass cycle kept them trapped kept them stuck I just heard sex addiction. This person could have had some kind of sex addiction or this person could have, this person was like, became a, addicted or obsessed with having sex with this person or the thought of having sex with this person. Yeah. And they were presented some kind of choice. And they are like, I'm also feeling like blindfolded, like this person was blindfolded. But the truth has come out, right? Because I'm thinking about how what the traditional two of swords looks like, which is that person that's standing there, like you know, sitting there with their um, with their back turned to the to like to the moon, to the moon that's behind them, to the truth. But this moon is being revealed to them. The blindfold is coming off. A choice needs. Or this person was blindfolded in the past, but now the truth is is, is revealed itself, right? This blindfold is coming off now, right? Yeah, I've been gone. Like, ooh. 
Yeah, it's coming forward. Okay, this uh this this masculine is learning the truth about what about what's been happening here. But it was this person's karma. Because this person got involved. This person, this person, this masculine energy was doing something they know they shouldn't have. They were trying to, exactly here. Right? They got themselves involved with the Queen of Swords in reverse. With some kind of manipulative liar. But they shouldn't have never gotten involved with this person to begin with because it wasn't right. It wasn't right. They were married or they, they had something else that they knew that this situation was inappropriate. And so the karma is that this person got some kind of like addicted to this to this masculine energy's energy. They got addicted to this masculine emperor's energy and like became obsessed with them, obsessed with like having like having them, having a, having this 10 of cups moment with them, like being with them and they would do anything, even even going as far as to use some kind of like spell work or magic against this masculine to trap them. Is that true, spirit? Can you confirm that? Four of Wands. This karmic energy knew that this masculine was supposed to, was supposed to be in some kind of four of wands situation, some or was married or something and got involved anyway. There there comes like the weekend Valerie, there comes a time in a, in a man's life where he must face the 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 consequences for the choices that he has made. And that moment is right now. This person, whoever whoever this fucking person is, this queen of swords in reverse, that queen of wands energy, whoever that person was, that temptress, yeah. They brought out all, all kind of insecurities. It's like this, like this, um, they highlighted this masculine's weakness. Outcome, I'm hearing outcome, draw for the outcome. What's the outcome of this situation? Two of cups, wow. Two of cups and the devil in reverse. Oh, wait, look at that. I'm hearing matching energy, somebody matching energy. Being trapped in that two of that two of, again, the four of wands with that king of swords in reverse, that queen of swords in reverse, and the two of and the two of cups. Somebody's being trapped in some kind of um, manipulation. They're being trapped in some kind of relationship with somebody because they were both being manipulative. Mm-hmm. Devil. Wow. Some end to a situation is happening. There's six of cups in reverse. Or somebody's being uh, denied some kind of reunion. Yeah. They're being denied opportunities. They're being denied uh, eight of wands in reverse and the princess of cups. They're being denied an opportunity to come forward and apologize or, or an, an, uh, bring to bring forth an opportunity of love. They're being denied that now. Let's bring an end. Probably to this four of wands, whoever this emperor was supposed to be with. Yeah because of this queen of wands character because of this queen of wands there an end does happen an end has happened to this situation here wow well what's the outcome for this queen of wands queen of pentacles wow this queen of wands is about to take is about to upgrade and about to take this this king this emperor for like all their money i swear to god they're about to take them for everything this Queen of Wands is about to turn is about to turn is about to turn from the other lady into the main into the main woman. Or they're about to just turn into the the Queen of Pentacles. They're about to get rich off of this. Wow. Yep. This and that person gets <laughs> and this is all coming to light. This is coming, you know, this is coming out of the dark, the moon in reverse, and this is coming to the light. This person is finding happiness. And I feel like this emperor is being denied a new beginning. Wow. Damn. Chuck, they're trapped. So it's like this person's mind is free. They're free, they're free to see the the choice, the the actions or, or the choice. So it's like they're not blindfolded anymore. They can see how the choices, but they're trapped. They're trapped in this in this um, 
in this relationship with this person or they're trapped in this situation, in this karmic situation now. Um, also, some kind of gifts or some kind of talents are being taken away from this divine masculine person. Yeah. I'm hearing philandering with that knight of cups. Well, here with the knight of cups here on the end. Their philandering ways are coming to an end. They're not going to be able to be out there. And I feel like... I feel like the manipulation got turned around on this emperor character. This emperor queen of... Queen of... Queen? Sorry. I was looking at the queen of cups. Six of swords. I feel like this queen of cups... There's a queen of cups situation here that's walking away. It's completely walking away from this emperor situation here. Wow. Um, yeah, exactly. The justice is that ever that this mask is that now this emperor is 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 trapped in this in this mask situation. It's trapped in this reverse hierophant situation. It's trapped in like low vibrational energy, at least for right now. And that's their justice for what they did. They did something. Wow. What is it that they did? I think it was just them manipulating, them using, them abusing, them. The, this, their philandering way is finally caught up to them exactly. Balance. They're being weighed down right now because the situation is balancing themselves out. Wow. Damn. I feel like this emperor energy is here because it's just like you are the daddy, like you're the father and that, and you're being trapped here in this situation because the, because the emperor is usually the father figure. So it's like, no, you're the father and that's the truth. I don't really feel like this person is really an emperor, an emperor for real. They might be at the end of all this. If they allow themselves to be taught their lessons and they grow up and decide to stop doing all the shit that they were doing. I don't think that the divine, the divine is pinning that ass down right now. Not giving them much of a choice. Damn. And what about um, this Queen of Cups? What's the final outcome for this Queen of Cups? Yeah. This Queen of Cups is gonna is, is losing all the burdens. Excuse me, y'all too. Please stop. Yeah. Three of Swords in reverse. Healing. Healing and dropping of burdens. Which I feel like this Emperor, whoever this Emperor character was or whatever, this queen, this uh, King of uh, Wands, they, they were a burden. And this Queen of Cups is dropping this burden. Walking away. Exactly. They're not being stuck. They've received their enlightenment and now they're bringing themselves down from that hangman's tree. Or hangwoman's tree. They're relieving themselves. They, they finally found their enlightenment and now they're taking themselves down. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. And now this Emperor character is being stuck for uh is being stuck here, not letting go, not being denied this passionate new beginning. Wow. And I feel like this Emperor character, this King of Wands, this Queen sorry. Yeah, tower, exactly. They don't see this shit coming. Seven of Wands in reverse. They, they're so egotistical that they don't even see this shit coming. They don't even see all of their shit catching up to them. Because they're choosing not to learn their lessons. Nine of Wands in reverse. Tower card. This tower is about to hit that ass. They misjudged this situation. They misjudged the situation here. And now they are being denied their new beginning. Wow. All right, well, spirit saying that's all. That's all, folks. That's that's what they got for you. Dang. Mm -mm. This person got tempted. This person got tempted so hard. They got they got given the option to make the the the, the right choice to make the um 
the moral choice and they chose to go against it. They chose to lie and manipulate and try to scam their way. They tried to, to get the best situation involved for all of them. So they was telling lies to both people, to all the peoples involved and shit like that. And the truth is coming out. And I feel like, I feel like this person might lose their job. This person's going to lose all their love options. This person's going to lose all their people on the side. You know, when it comes out that this person was doing this, if they, they're going to lose their wife situation here, they're going to lose their people on the side. They're going to lose, um, they're going to lose money because that queen, that queen of wands person that was like, you know, on the side or whatever is, has a baby by this person now. And I don't even know, I don't even, this person is so egotistical, you guys, I don't even know if he, if this person is going to even learn the lessons here. Or this is happening to so that this person can learn these lessons because they were they were making all kind of bad choices and kept choosing to do the wrong thing. What else do you want to say here? Yeah, this tower moment is happening now. And it's all being torn down. All of it is being torn down. And in the end, victory is going here to this Queen of Wands. A situation the situation is ending with this Queen of Wands and victory. Some kind of victory is going here. Some kind of happiness is being given to this Queen of Pentacles, like their wife in this situation. Yeah, y'all, um, I feel like, I don't know if I said this, I feel like I started to say this, but I don't know if I finished the statement, um, y'all watch that, um, that scammers getting scammed, because this reminds me of that, <laughs> where this masculine energy was messing with a queen, was messing, yeah, because there was a queen of cups, and there was a, a princess, that, not a princess, but in the, in that, this person, the person they were being scammed by that they had some kind of passionate affair with on the side was showing up as the page of pentacles. Was showing up as a page of pentacles. But here this person showed up as a queen of wands. Wow. Yeah. Y'all go check that out. Dang. That's a... That's, some, that's a rough lesson right there. But this tower, this tower is happening. This this person is dealing with this because it's karma. This person did this, this person did some people dirty. They put in that work and they did some people dirty. And now they're having to learn the con. Now they're having to deal with the consequences of their actions. Yeah, transformation. This person in the end did that ha that came out and that scammers getting scammed too. This all happened to this person and this person right here and the Queen of Pentacles could go through like a, a transformation as well as this Queen of Wands is going through a transformation too. They're getting an upgrade in money. Because they're about to take a whole bunch of money uh, from this King of Pentacles. And this person's not going to be a King of Pentacles for long. Damn. This person thought they were being sneaky. No. Nope. Spirit had something else for your ass. Damn. All right, you guys, um, if you identify with this situation, I'm praying for you, whoever you end up being in this situation. You know, if you're the masculine, you need to learn your lessons and move on from this. Also, if you're the queen of pentacles, learn your lessons and move on from this. Get out of this relationship. Like, yeah, um, I don't know what else to tell you, but like, this is the, you know, this is what's going on. So be aware of it. You know, if you're this masculine, I don't know if you've already found this out before or whatever, but like. I don't think there's anything you can do to stop this from coming forward and this happening, okay? Because this is your karma. This is your justice. This is what's supposed to be happening for you. So prepare yourself, okay? Um, if you are new here, think about subscribing or think about liking or sharing the video with somebody you feel like it could help. Also, if you are subscribed, think about doing those things too. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers that, I ha that I've been having um, coming into my channel. I appreciate you guys. I really hope that um, you guys are enjoying the content and that I can keep enlightening you guys and, and um, <laughs> pushing pushing this collective forward to the next level, okay? I'm just trying to be here kind of enlightening you guys about what's going on in the situation here. Um, Good luck out there to all the people involved in this because, of course, like, the best thing and the best possible thing for the situation is for everybody to learn their lessons and improve and become, like, better versions of themselves. So, you know, I'm praying the best for everyone involved here, okay? And good luck out there on your journey, okay? Um, If you've been drawn to any of my other videos, go ahead and check the, check those out, too, like I said. um, I really feel like if you identify with this, you really might identify with the scammers being scammed video, okay? So go check that out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!